For this week's Shelter Faith, we're going to continue to talk about hope. Last week I talked about those life preservers, those things I cling to in the storms of life. Those need to be practical things that we can grab at when the tidal wave comes our way. And there's three things I'd like to suggest. Those life preservers, those dinghies we can hold on to. Number one, we all need to have a list of scriptures, those little one-liners that speak powerfully to us. I'm going to give you three of my favorites. I think these are powerful, but you can come up with your own. Number one, John 3:16. God so loved the world that he gave us his son. And no matter what storm we may be stuck in, that speaks to us. Another one is Romans 8, 36. If Christ is for us, who can be against us? When we feel like the whole world is against us, everything is going bad, we need to be reminded that Christ is with us. Another one is John 6, 40. I came so that all might be saved. I came to lose nothing that the Father gave to me. My friends, those are three that work for me. But we all need a list of scripture passages, one-liners, that we either know by memory or write down on a card that we can find pretty quick when we need something to cling to. Another suggestion are tangible things, like pieces of art, a crucifix, a statue of a favorite saint. You've probably noticed in both parishes, I'm big into visuals. I think beautiful objects call our mind and raise us to the divine. But we need this in our homes too. That powerful painting of Christ, that picture of the Madonna, a statue of my favorite saint that I can look at when I'm feeling hopeless to reassure me. Those visuals are important that we have around us so that we can cling to them, to gaze on that crucifix, to restore my hope. We also need tangible things we can hold on to. A rosary, a Bible, a medal of a favorite saint. Those things that we can hold on to when we're feeling panicked or anxious that can literally calm us down. I know in my own life, one of the most precious things I possess was the rosary my Nana had in her hands when she was dying. I always hold on to that and I have pressed that into my hands on many a times to connect to her faith and more importantly to that faith that that represents. That tangible sign of being able to hold on to that rosary has helped me through a lot of dark times in my life by being that life preserver, that dinghy that I can hold on to to keep afloat. No matter what we pick, we all need those things in our lives, that they're close by so that when the storm rolls in, when the thunder begins to rumble, we can go to those scripture passages, those one-liners. We can find those pictures, those statues, those crosses in our homes to inspire us. And we can grab onto those tangibles, those rosaries, those Bibles, those medals, whatever it is that we can hold in the palm of our hand and remind us that God is with us. We all need life preservers to maintain hope in the storms of life. Are we using these powerful gifts God puts at our disposal so that we too can stay afloat by the power of God's hope, the power of our faith, until that storm passes us by in our life. Not a sermon or not a homily, but just that little jolt of faith we all need from time to time.